Hey, welcome back to another episode of Salty Reef TV. We're going to pick up in this episode where we left off last time in the review of the Ecotech Marine Vectra L1 return pump. Now you can mount this pump submersible in a sump or you can mount it externally. Maybe you want to have it next to the sump on the ground for whatever your your plumbing calls for or maybe you want to use it as a closed loop pump. Regardless of your application, if you're going to be running it in an external environment, you're going to want to know how quiet is this thing. So today, we're going to take some simple decibel readings from three different pumps of similar style. First, we have the Waveline DC 12000, and then we have the Ecotech Marine Vectra L1. Both of these pumps are rated at 12,000 liters per hour. Now, we're also going to throw into the mix here a Red Dragon 380 watt that is rated at 9,000 liters per hour. So let's take a look. Okay, I wasn't really expecting um, such a big difference between the Waveline and the Vectra. There's like a 20 decibel difference almost. I mean, that's like a factor of 100. So even 40 decibels though, that's like light chatter in your living room. Um, but when we're talking around the 20 decibel range, like we saw with the Vectra and with the Red Dragon, that's like a broadcast studio with nobody in it. So these two pumps, the Vectra and the Red Dragon, are both good candidates for really super quiet. However, I, I do want to point out that the Red Dragon is 9,000 liters per hour. So that's, as tested, this pump is... Um, peaking out around 3,000 liters per hour less than the Vectra L1 that we tested today as well. The Red Dragon also costs about 300 bucks more. I don't want to nitpick, but I do just want to throw out a general warning that if you do decide to go with the Red Dragon 380 watt, the inlet sizing is some weird proprietary threading of two and a quarter inches. Spears doesn't. Spears is a PVC manufacturing company here in the United States. They don't even make a two and a quarter inch um, female adapter. If your intention is to run it in an external environment like we tested here, just know that you're going to have to use the fitting that comes with the pump. Just throwing that out there. The difference between Waveline DC 12000 and the other two candidates is pretty significant. If you're looking for the quietest pumps, you're going to go with one of these two options. However, it's pretty hard to dismiss the value that you're going to get from the Ecotech Marine Vectra L1. It's about 300 bucks cheaper and you get 3000 liters per hour more flow. You're just getting a, a whole bunch of extra features for less dough. Well guys, that wraps up this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please leave a comment below and don't forget to swimscribe.